How's it going, neighbors? This is Ed here with eTrailer.com, and I have Rick from WeatherTech to give us a little bit of insight. How's it going, Rick? Things are great today, Ed. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm Good. doing okay. Good. So could you give, my, give our neighbors a little background on uh, WeatherTech as far as the company? You bet. WeatherTech started in 1989 by a gentleman named David McNeil. Um, David was very passionate about the automotive aftermarket at the time and actually started the company with uh, flat rubber mats, basically. And he went out through local dealer networks to sell them. At the time, he thought, listen, there's other opportunities to do that. I need to get my brand out. And then he started advertising on a national scale. Um, he did that for a number of years and bought products from other people. But then, really, in the, um, I guess, in the late 90s is when he decided that he wanted to become prime and become a manufacturer. And as he does with everything, he got very serious about it and um, got us into in both injection and thermal forming. And we have plants in Bolingbrook, Illinois, with over a million uh, square feet under roof. And we make the best quality uh, automotive products that you're going to find in the industry. And that kind of leads into the next question. Why would someone go with WeatherTech over the competitors that are out there as far as the vehicle care items you guys carry? When it comes to our brand, I think one of the things that we're really blessed with is consumer loyalty. You find a lot of people that will engage on WeatherTech, and the first look they may think, hmm, you know, is it worth it? Is the investment worth it? But we all love our cars, as you do, and as your team does here at eTrailer. And when you look at what you're going to do and how you're going to take care of that, the better you take care of the car, the longer it's going to last. And it is amazing. Um, we started really simply with really general automotive products, and now we've expanded into so many different accessories. But people buy our products because, number one, they work. They work. Number two, they're made in America. We, you know, we produce the highest quality products we're gonna, you're going to find on the aftermarket. And we allow the consumer a broad choice of options when they uh, decide to accessorize and protect their vehicle. Well, yeah, and that's, that's actually awesome. Uh, in my time here at eTrailer and Customer Service, a lot of our neighbors emphasize looking for companies that are produced in the, the United States. Yeah. Uh, as far as your production process, with your bed liners and uh, and floor mats and such for just specifically for the truck. Mm -hmm. uh, what what do you think goes into it that separates that? Well, I am so impressed. First of all, starting with our product development team, and the fact of how they not only identify the vehicles but how they stay on top of vehicles from year to year model change. But when you look at how they do it, the care they take in how we measure vehicles, how we find vehicles, how we find and, and uh, source our raw materials, which are also made in the USA. And then at that time, there, when you look at you know, floor liners, for example, now there's two different ways that we manufacture those. We do the thermal form processes where we got started back in 2005 when we originally began to make floor liners and created a better product. And then in 2019, we added another option, which is our premium option called the floor liner HP, and those are injection molded. But in either option that you get, you're getting one of the best products you're going to find in the automotive aftermarket. You're going to find a product that's custom fit to your vehicle. You're going to find the ease of sourcing that with partners like yourself. And the fact is, you're going to find customer satisfaction at a very high level. So when you get your next vehicle or you get your kid's vehicle like we did, you're going to make sure that you outfit those with all WeatherTech products. After removing the HP liner from our packaging, what do we expect with our installation? Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you understand which one that there's going to be one for the driver's side and the passenger side. So that obviously becomes rather easy to identify just by virtue of how they come in. But, you know, what I like to do is, first of all, always make sure you remove your factory mat. If there's any mat currently in the vehicle, understand our liners have been measured to fit the floor when the mat has been removed. Furthermore, many of the times that if you're going to put them in, I always like to clean, but that's just kind of me. I want to make sure that they're clean. What yeah. you also notice here is, is that there are two caps here on this particular liner. This happens to be the HP, the floor liner being the same way. Now, these are designed to snap over the factory studs. So in this case, on this F-150, we have two factory studs on the driver's side. So what I like to do, Eddie, then, is once I get everything cleaned out, I'm going to want to place this in there, and I'm going to want to locate those factory studs. Once I do that, I want to make sure they snap over, and I want to hear that pop, because that's just added security you're going to get on the floor liner, in addition to the factory nibs that we also place on the bottom of that to help hold that in place. Let's take a look at the differences between our base model F-150 floor mats versus what you have right here. Yeah, and I think the first thing you're going to notice is just the coverage that you're going to get. Now, there's no disrespect to what they put in there. They're giving you a basic floor mat. But what we're going to do is we're going to give you the added coverage. Plus, because of the material that we use, if they do get dirty, muddy, et cetera, they're going to clean up really, really easy. 
But at the end of the day, to think that the only area that you're going to have soiled on the passenger side is this, is probably not reality. So that's, again, <laughs> what makes WeatherTech such a great option. Yeah, not with my family. I, I'm going to need more coverage than that's that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Now, on our super crew here, we do have a second row protection yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, that's generally, if you have you know, little ones, that's where the car seats and most of the mess is going to occur. And so what do you guys offer for that? Well, the nice thing about WeatherTech is, is that, again, when you, when you have the option to buy our product, you know, most people are going to engage on both the front and second row. Not always, but they do. Especially if you've got passengers back there, just like we saw in the previous mat that is smaller, the factory mat is going to be smaller as well. So in this case of the crew, our floor liner goes all the way under the rear seat. So you're getting total protection, not just where people are putting their feet, but under the seat as well. And they're going to install just as easy as the front liners are going to all be digitally fit. One thing to always know, note is, is that if you have a crew cab or a super cab or a crew cab or a double cab, depending on the brand, those second row liners are going to be different because that seat flooring is going to be different. But they're all digitally fit just like the fronts. As far as protecting the resale value of your bed, everyone knows it's a great idea to put something in there, spray yeah, on or a mat or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, what is WeatherTech going to bring to the table for, to protect our F-150? Well, it is amazing. The most commonly abused area on the, on the truck is going to be the bed. That's what I, got. I even could say the second most commonly abused because you're going to always have people up in the front. But as one of those <laughs> and one of us that use our bed consistently, you know, that painted bed, it can be easily scratched, et cetera. And that's one of the things that people look at, especially even when they trade or they sell their truck. What does that bed look like? WeatherTech actually has two different options. We started with the Tech Liner originally, which is a thermal formed option that Velcros in the bed of the truck. It's digitally fit to the bed. In the case of the Tech Liner, we not only have a bed portion, but we have a tailgate protection uh, pro uh, product as well. This will come rolled up in a box. The key thing there is, especially in the colder weather, like we happen to be in today, um, let it come inside, put it in a shop that's warm, and basically let it relax. There's going to be 12 different Velcro uh, circles that you'll use to install that. And then once it's done, you know, you've got added protection. It's going to go up on the side of the bed. The Tech Liner really is designed more as a light duty use, and we sell a lot of them. We recently introduced a new in injection mold adoption called the Impact Liner, and that is going to be thicker, it's going to be heavier. Um, it's got the same uh, three inch lip that goes around the outside. It's got the impact rings on the bottom that help it absorb impact as well as allow that mat to breathe. But either option is going to be awesome in the fact that every one is going to be custom fit to the bed of the truck. So they're going to fit the bed perfectly versus a number of the universal models that, uh, that, that our competitors offer. Yeah, and that is awesome because just taking a look at how well it fits, it almost looks stock as far mm. as how it conforms yeah. to the, the grooves of the bed of our truck. It does. And just think about it, even just, you know, like me, uh, even putting just general bends in, uh, throwing leaves in and then trying to pull them out with a rake and then you're touching the paint, you know, this just offers you a nice, economical, protected product and still staying within the uh, WeatherTech brand. Okay, and overall, as far as any of these products, they are designed to keep every, as far as your messes and whatnot contained, what's a good way to maintain them? You know, in the case of my, and when I had the Tech Liner in my F-150 at the time, I would take that out every spring and fall, and I'd do a general cleaning, and that would be a spray off, I'd get my little uh, brush off. I actually used our liner cleaner and protectant on that because it's the same material, but just getting it cleaned off, and then I'd wipe the bed down, which was amazing, is the bed underneath was never that dirty, which was always made me happy. Yeah. And then, of course, just reinstalling it made it very easy, and that was what I would do. Kind of the passing of spring and the getting ready for winter for fall. All right. Well, Rick, I do appreciate you taking the time to talk to our neighbors you here. Uh, this is Ed with eTrailer.com, and this has been Rick with WeatherTech. You all have a great day. Thank you.